Hi, I'm Lerato. And I'm John. We are here to talk about ages of consent, the age when young people like us are legally able to make decisions about certain things in our lives. Those decisions include consent to marriage, sexual activity, and consent to sexual and reproductive health services. The ages are different in different countries. Across our region, the age of consent to marriage, for example, ranges from 15 to 21. And to make things even more complicated, customary laws, unlike other laws in the country, often allow marriage at younger ages and are based on values other than age. We think that ages of consent to marriage should be 18 without expectation. It's important to stop children from being married too early. Everyone should be allowed to finish school before starting a family. It's also important to make sure that birth dates are recorded very carefully to ensure that the exact age of a young person can be clearly established. The age of consent to sexual activity is often not clearly defined leaving it open to interpretation and value systems of law enforcers and health providers. In some instances, where the age of consent of sexual activity is defined by the law, the provision includes a lower age for girls than for boys. It's all very confusing. We want the age of consent to sexual activity to be equal for boys and girls and reflect the available evidence on sexual debut in the region. We also want to be clear so young people, authorities and everyone in the country is aware of it. Special defenses for adults who engage in sexual activity with someone who is under the age of consent should not be allowed. For example, claiming that a girl looked older than her age. But sexual activity between consenting minors should be treated differently. The so-called Romeo and Juliet clause should be allowed where the age difference between the two consenting adolescents is minimal. For instance, two to three years apart. The age of consent to sexual and reproductive health services is vital for the well-being of adolescents and young people. They must have access to HIV testing, including counseling, as well as other preventative and life-saving services such as condoms and antiretroviral drugs. Beyond actual services, they should be able to get sexual health information from health providers to make informed decisions over their lives and bodies. Different countries have different policies with the age ranging from 12 to 18. This is really important for the health and well-being of adolescents and young people. So it is very important for countries to set the age of consent to health services, especially sexual and reproductive health and rights services, at a reasonable age. Importantly, healthcare providers should be empowered and encouraged to use judgment to evaluate a young person's maturity and ability to make informed decisions on their own health. We each grow up at a different pace and grow more able to make informed decisions. Harmonizing the ages of consent doesn't mean setting all of them at the same age because each one of them has a different role in the life of a young person. The age of consent to marriage should be set at 18 without exceptions to eliminate child marriage. The age of consent to sexual activity should be set according to the evidence in each one of the countries in terms of average of sexual debut to avoid criminalization of adolescents and young people while the age of consent to sexual and reproductive health and rights services should be set lower than 18 to ensure that they receive the information and services necessary to protect themselves. You, the parents, leaders and policymakers of East and Southern African countries have already made great strides in protecting young people's access to sexual and reproductive health services and information. Now. We ask you to work together to harmonize and clarify the relationship between the three ages of consent so that the rights and freedoms of young people are protected and their future secured. Because when it comes to consent, age matters.